if I were to have an investigative time with you across the table with a cup of coffee in a safe place, I could find out real quick that the majority of you are okay with God not bringing harm to your life, but have no expectation of blessing that is actually available to you. You're just happy with no trouble. I just don't want any trouble, right? So many of us just stop right there. I just want forgiveness. If I can just get forgiveness and none of that bad stuff to be brought up, I'm good with that. I'm one of them. I'm totally fine with that. That's good enough for me. But God's not, God says that's not good enough for me. God doesn't want me to settle with being forgiven. He wants me to know that I'm forgiven and now I've been brought into his family, which changes everything. Which brings on the picture of the rich young ruler who uh, uh, is rejected, who has everything in his own mind, and he shows up to Jesus, and Jesus tells him the one thing he can't give up, which is money, and he walks away brokenhearted. And then you take that over to the, the rich young man, right, the disobedient son, the prodigal, who leaves his dad, takes his wealth, exploits it, and shows back and says, hey, maybe I can be one of my dad's slaves. They eat better than I am where I am. And the father's just like, I won't have it. I won't have you just being protected from my wrath. I won't have you just being protected from the wrath of others. I want you to wear my ring. I want you to wear my robe. I want you to run my kingdom. That's what he ultimately said. That's what God does to us. So he never leaves us in that one spot. Don't settle just for forgiveness as if that weren't enough. 